a lot of people come see roller derby because they think it's a bunch of chicks on skates and little short skirts and stuff, but you know, we put a lot of hard work into skating and strategy and planning all this stuff, and it's a real sport. I mean, we bust our butts to get it done, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. A lot of people have the misconception of uh, that it's the old school derby, a lot of hair pulling, clothes lines, and you know, illegal stuff. But uh, no, the, the game and, the, and that aspect has calmed down quite a lot, and it's actually become a methodical sport. There's leagues all ac across the country. Our league is in northern Kentucky and it's black and bluegrass. And we currently have one team. We have about 21 skaters or so. Um, you can have 20 on a team, 14 on a roster. So we have one team right now. The league is black and bluegrass roller girls. And then the moonshiners are the team. The league was formed, let's see, May, I think May 19th will be, um, our second anniversary. So it'll be two years that we've been practicing and skating together. Um, that was 2006, I think, when the league started. Um, the team just formed within this last year as far as our competitive team. I think roller derby is a really empowering sport. Um, I think it gives the public an opportunity to view women differently. Um, you know, it's for the skaters, by the skaters, it's, it's completely do-it-yourself. And I think it gives girls and women the opportunity to, you know, really push their physical limits, to feel like um, they've accomplished something, to find their self-confidence. I mean, I got into it because I want to be fearless in life, you know, and this is a tangible way for me to do that, and I think it's a tangible way for a lot of people to do it. Everybody joins it for their own reasons, but the... Uh, the bonds that you form with the, with the girls on the team and, and just the, the sense of being and the sense for once that you know you really belong to something is just phenomenal and I think that's one of the, the big strengths of the sport. No, not yet. You know, back in the day they, they did and um, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. If I could get paid for roller derby, I would do it full time. Um, but unfortunately right now, Gotta have a nine to five. I am a sign language interpreter. I work at an elementary school. I work at Insight Cable Communications. Um, I am a check-in clerk. I am a loss prevention and safety manager for Lowe's. I have, a, I have a corporate investigative kind of job, paper pusher, which is very funny that I'm all tattooed up and pierced and I go into work and I'm corporate, corporate America. <laughs> I am a pharmaceutical rep. Monday through, you know, Monday through Friday, nine to five, sell pharmaceuticals, and then I come be a roller girl afterwards. A lot of girls have great stories about their names. My story is actually kind of sad. I had lost my grandfather just a couple months after I had started Derby, and I was just sitting on my couch one day after my grandfather died, and just whoa Nelly popped into my mind just for some reason and and I nothing had sparked it it just popped in there and my father was in the hospital at the time and I went to my dad and I said daddy I, I figured out a derby name and it's gonna be whoa Nelly and he said he said that is the greatest now I'm gonna start crying <laughs> he said that's the greatest name he's like because your grandfather I remember your grandfather when I was growing up he used to always scream whoa Nelly on the farm and so I just thought that was like, it was meant to be. Unfortunately, my dad passed away and has never gotten to see me roller skate.
I love roller derby. If you have any, you know, even if you don't have any skill, you can learn. If you, I mean, if, if you really feel like you need something in your life that you think that's missing, um, if you're having a hard time at home dealing with, uh, you know, just financial issues, with, you know, spousal issues, with take a minute of time, find your nearest roller derby that's in your area that you can get to and just watch it, just see what it's about and see if it's for you. It may not be for you because it is, you know, pretty violent. You know, at times it's pretty violent, but a lot of people dig that and I'm, I'm here for the duration. I've never really been into sports. Um, I did ballet for years and I really didn't do much besides that, you know. Um, never a big sports fan, but I've always been a very aggressive person, you know, a pretty straightforward person and if I was going to do any sport it would have to be this.